Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, this example is about trying to find out what the graph of a linear equation looks like if the equation is in standard form. In standard form, we have ax plus by equals c. What that means is you can see an equation in this form where a is some kind of integer, b is another integer, and c is an integer. In fact, it happens to be a constant. There's no variable attached. So something x plus something y equals c. That's what standard form is all about. In order to graph this equation in standard form, we use a method called the cover-up method. And that is we look for the x and y intercepts. Now, at the y-intercept, that means where the line is going to cross the y-axis, x is 0. So we call it the cover-up method because basically you cover up the x term in order to see what the y-intercept is. So that gives us a, a smaller equation, negative 3y equals 6. And then when we solve that, we get y equals negative 2. Now on the graph, we're going to go down the y-axis, 2. And so we know our equation is going to cross at that point. So now we look for the x-intercept. That, of course, is where the equation of the line, is the line of the equation is going to be intercepting the x-axis. At the x-intercept, y is 0. That means that we can totally ignore or cover up this negative 3y term. So notice we have a little equation left that's 2x equals 6, and that means, of course, x equals 3. So now the x-intercept is positive 3. So on our graph, we're going to locate out on the x-axis 3 positive, and it is going to be right there. Now we just have to connect the lines, and we will have our graph. The resulting line of the equation looks like this. So again, we look for the y-intercept by covering up the x term. We look for the x-intercept by covering up the y term. This is called the cover-up method. All right, I'm going to write down an equation for you to try. The equation in standard form is negative 3x plus y equals 9. Go ahead and hit pause and see if you can find the y-intercept, x-intercept, and draw the line. All right, the y-intercept is where x is 0. So we are going to cover up or ignore the x term, which is negative 3x. That gives us the equation of y equals 9. So the y-intercept is at positive 9. On the y-axis, you count up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you know your line is going to be going through that point. Next, of course, we're looking for the x-intercept. That's where the line crosses the x-axis. At the x-axis, the value of y is 0. So again, we're going to use the cover-up method or ignore the y term. So negative 3x equals 9. And then I need to solve for x. It's usually a one-step equation. I'm going to divide each side by negative 3. Be careful of your signs there. And you notice that now x would have to be a negative 3. So x-intercept is going to be negative 3. So on the x-axis, I go back left three places. I locate the x-intercept there, and now I draw my line. The resulting line is shown in red. Again, we're connecting the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Use the cover-up method when the equation is in standard form. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.